now that there is the the this new era this next era of the chicago blackhawks which will be led by connor bedard are there any other changes you think that the organization is going to make in order to turn the page and sort of catch up with modern tastes um, I wonder about the logo. I wonder yeah, about I thought that's where you were going. <laughs> uh, you and I have had this. Yeah, you listen, you and I have had this conversation numerous times. There have been a number of moments where the Hawks could have done it and they didn't. And I can't help but thinking, is this not another moment where they can once again, quote unquote, do it? You know what I mean? It is. They won't. Um, I I get the sense that as long as Rocky Wirtz is the owner and Danny Wirtz is the CEO, that there doesn't seem to be an appetite. I I know we've talked about this, and I still firmly believe that, you know, in eight to ten years, there's just absolutely no chance that there's a Native American cartoon head on the jersey of an NHL team. I just can't see it being the case in ten years. I mean, think of how far we've come in ten years in some of these kinds of issues. Yeah. Um, but there's just no appetite for it right now. I mean, you're a hundred percent right. Like this would be the perfect time to do it, right? Change the goal song, change the logo, make Blackhawks two words again. Oh. I mean, you can do anything you want right now. All of it, rip the bandaid off now while there's all this excitement. They just sold $2.5 million worth of season tickets in 90 minutes last night after the draft lottery. This is your chance for a completely new start, but I just don't get the sense. The brand is so strong and so powerful in Chicago and even beyond. It's a global brand. That yeah. and this is a billion dollar company. I just it's it's they just don't have the appetite to do it. There's not the motivation. They don't think they have to. They're stubborn about it. Uh, they do a lot of good things in the Native American community locally. Like they they were the first NHL team to do a uh, a land acknowledgement before games. They started that during the COVID season. Like they do a lot of good things. But when it comes down to it, it's still a racist logo, and I have to go at some point. I just don't think that it's it's certainly not going to happen this summer.